Hey y'all. So. Um. I fucked up. <laughs> no, if, hey, oh, let me turn off some things. Okay, no request to go live. Because. And let me turn off comments for a little while. Because I like to talk. Girl, no, I'm MC. I like to talk. I fucked up. Okay? I fucked up. Won't be the first time, and it won't be the last. Um. When I fuck up, I come and tell y'all. I apologize. I ask y'all to apologize. I ask y'all for your apology, and I ask y'all to still rock with me, even in my faults. I do that. That's what I do. I am who I am. All right. Um. I don't know why. I'm so emotionally driven. I don't know why, but I'm driven by my emotions. And sometimes that comes into my, to question my leadership skills and my decision-making ability. Um, I'm a person who is all the time, for the most part, whatever I feel like is right for that time, I do. And I don't question it. Whether it's right, wrong, or anywhere in between, I just go ahead and do it. Um, Ain't no sugarcoating right and wrong. You understand me? It's, it's either right or wrong. It's no, this, that's the bottom. Um, these last few days, I have been on an emotional tangent. Uh, Monday, so listen, being shaky has, has caused me to be a little introverted be paranoid I don't trust people you know I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what it is um, there was some stuff that happened on big older people that I love and so it's like I don't want to let nobody in close and if you're here already it's like you gotta own up to it it's, it's really weird situation where I am uh, me as a people person feeling introverted which is me that I feel standoffish into myself that introversion and not being able to trust somebody or get close to somebody causes me to have bouts of mild depression. Truthfully. Um, I was diagnosed with depression, of course, y'all know, a couple years ago. Um, amongst other things, PTSD and a few other things. Um, that I wasn't medicated for, but I did seek counseling for. And I had been going to counseling reg way regularly. Uh, for, at first it was like a week, every week, every week, every week, and then it was like every other week, every other week, every other week, and then it was like kind of went to like once a month, and then once every six months, and then when the pandemic come, they did constant by Zoom, but I didn't like that, and I don't like groups at all, and so um, I just kind of haven't done it really in about probably like a year. I have not been to um, counseling. Um, I did attend a counseling Zoom Monday, and I, I tend to uh, go through it regularly from now on. Mental health is, is very real. Am I crazy? Probably. Um, but just knowing that, so I'm going through that, right? And so it's like, it's so, so I'm, I'm going through a feeling of lonesomeness and depression at the same time. And then it's like, feeling like you can't trust nobody and feeling like that everybody out to get you and like you gotta like live a certain life because of who you are and the more i try to fight it and be a regular person the more it come and kick me in the butt you know and so then me being emotionally driven led to what y'all witnessed for me for the last three days so understand what i was doing monday i did go to counseling i was feeling a little better tuesday monday ish i was feeling better monday and tuesday um and then of course that shit happened we we lived it. We know what to talk about. If y'all don't know what it is, the elephant in the room and how I acted in that situation. Um, as I sit here now and think about it and know what it is and I'm starting to feel a little better, I do have another counseling session by Zoom Monday. So I am going every week now. But also just me being in my right shoes, being in my shoes right now. This is what it is right now. 
what's going on right now and looking in retrospect um i believe i failed you as a leader because at the end of the day no matter what happens in that situation it's not a central place about being a bigger person or a smaller person it's the situation of being the person who who run the cards in the case of that situation my best bet was to just pay it you know why i paid because no y'all nobody knew him nobody cared nobody will and so the, the so i lost i failed y'all i made y'all embarrassed i looked at it like this and said what i want them to say this is my leader this is my president this is the submission i'm part of and look at what this is going on like he paying attention to something that has no no need to be paid attention to and I, and I and I looked at it and I said, no, I would not. I would not be proud of my leader doing this here. I know what my leader does. I know what Shaker does. I know how he act. I know what this and that stuff. But every time he has done something, it's always been something of some type of value to what we're doing and what we're building and what we're growing from. And so this is definitely a hindrance. This is not only a hindrance to me, it's a hindrance to you. It's a hindrance to us going to the next level. It's a hindrance. It's a, it's a detriment. And my behavior did not add to that. My behavior subtracted for that. I'm not talking about the fact that whether I mess with him or not or whatever the case may be. Um, let me tell you something. It's a reason I don't. And, and see, listen. This is the reason why I don't, I'm not quick to have sex with people. A lot of people, you have noticed that something that has habitual. I never had sex with Twine. I never had sex with Zane. I never had sex with Lil Baby. I never had sex with either one of them. None of them. I never sucked their dick. I never did none of that. And there's a reason why I do that. And the reason why is because I always care about them saying that this is what they're doing. This is what they're saying. This is what it is. And I know I'm your leader. And I know that that. And I know people look at me for everything from advice about their personal life to advice about their credit, to advice about their finances, and they're making decisions based on what I say. And with any type of power comes responsibility. I ask y'all for things and y'all provide them. I ask y'all for, to, I ask y'all to buy the music, buy the books, stream this, stream that, y'all do it. Support the businesses that promote with us, and y'all do it. And so at the end of the day, I have a responsibility to y'all. And I failed in that responsibility because I allowed my emotions to dictate my actions, and that was wrong. And I apologize to y'all for that now. I would. I ain't going to say I never do that again because tomorrow I'm going to get my feelings about something else and do it again. But I will say this. I will try my best not to do that again because I do realize that y'all are just as much as my responsibility as in my own stuff. It's not just my brain. It's our brain. And if I do want to move forward, I do want to go, I have to realize that. I got to realize it's not about shaking all the time. I use your brain to fight an a, a emotional battle that was me. Anybody else was attacking us. This person was a, this person basically attacked me, and at the end of the day, I have I have a right I have a I have a right to feel how I want to feel, but I don't have a right to act like I want to act, especially when the case comes of that y'all who say and have invested so much of y'all money, so much of y'all time, and so much of y'all stuff in submission, because then I become guilty of the same thing I'm accusing him of. I'm accusing him of wasting my time. That's the biggest thing I'm accusing him of. He never really wastes my money, he wastes my time, and I was mad at that. Um, but in a sense, when you invest in all your money, you all y'all in time and all your energy into Sip Nation and into me, which I ask y'all to do, and I'm doing stupid shit like that, I'm wasting your time. You feel me? And so at the end of the day, I apologize to y'all for that and I am sorry and I will I will do my best and strongest to try to mitigate how I use our brain for my own personal emotional stuff. Um, I don't want I don't have sex with them because I'm smart first of all I don't want to catch that I'm very afraid of any type of disease or anything like that um, you know what I, I, in jail I lived a very promiscuous life I talk about it in prison stories um, I came out of jail clean as a whistle and I'm, I, I thank God for that and so I, every day I tell myself like, like I'm going to be careful with this I'm not going to just do this and jump in the bed with him her and her at the end of the day if I do have somebody that I am messing with I am messing with them consistently and them only so at the end of the day I just want to know I just want y'all to know that's who I am like at the end of the day so you saying so when people talk about I'm not having sex and all that stuff like that I just want Sip Nation to know that I'm thinking of my health I'm thinking about what it is. And I'm also thinking about how people is and it's paranoia. But at the end of the day, the first thing somebody said, oh yeah, but you talking all that shit, but you had me sucking your dick. No, you're not going to say that. Because I did. At the end of the day. As far as anything else is concerned with that situation, I promise you and I'll show you as far as that's concerned, it is over. For me. What you will not hear me do, now, I am slightly shady. You may see me throw a little shade here and there. 
but it's gonna be lighthearted and humorous like I do with anybody else or anything else. Um, if I see something funny or something, I'll post it or whatever, whatever, because I think I like our engagement with that. But as far as outright talk about him, his family, anything like that, again, you're not gonna hear it from me. I don't know what he got going on, don't care what he got going on, and everything else is just what it is. Um, second part about that. All right. I am very transparent, right? I'm very transparent on who I am. I'm very transparent on what I do. I'm very transparent about my life. Um, what I will try to do now, though, is understand the mechanics as we're growing about what parts of us have to be transparent and what parts of us don't have to be transparent. I believe that elements of stuff should be transparent, especially when it's dealing directly with us or me. Um, but some parts, as far as when it comes to my dealings with other people, may not be. Um, am I saying I'm gonna keep my next relationship offline? Um, I, I will say this, that my next relationship will be offline as much as possible. Um, what has to be online has to be online. I will not lie to y'all. I've will not. i always been transparent with y'all. I will not lie to y'all, I don't have to. Um, I will always tell y'all the truth candidly, whether it's good, bad, or everything in between. I really feel like though, um, that I will try to limit what my next issue, my next relationship is online or whatever, whatever. It, because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna put them on Beagle, I'm not gonna do none of that stuff. Because at the end of the day, obviously, I do not know how to mitigate that and how to handle that, obviously. And so what I want to do is learn that and, and, and learn and build into that instead of just coming out, this is what it is, and okay, we're gonna be 100% transparent, this is what it is, because part of the failures of what this is is me not understanding what parts need to be transparent and what parts don't. Everything don't need to be transparent. Some things, some things have to be not for the media, and it's not just for it's not for submission, but it's for it's for the people that are trying to destroy what we have built. This year we have been through a lot of we have grown a lot, but we've also been through a lot of uh, 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 turmoil. We've been through a lot of distance and outside of that. Um, we got outside of actually what SIP Nation is. And at this point, we're not gonna do that no more. We're going to get back to what SIP Nation really is. We're going to get back to our roots. We're going to get back to where we come from. We're going to get back to the ideologies. We're going to get back to the mentalities that we had from inception. The, the SIP Nation that y'all knew and loved and grew and became a part of is what we're going back to. Um, I have failed you as a leader. I have done that in this past few months. Um, I allow a lot of my emotions to drive and make my decisions for me. And I'm not going to do that any longer. When it comes to Sip Nation, we have to get, we don't like, I, you know, it's a sense of pride for us. It's a sense of pride for us because we know that at the end of the day, what we have is authentic. The one thing we do know on this internet, we the realest bitches. We the realest niggas for the boys in here. We are the realest. There's no fucking in, in the ends us, does and bust with us. It's just we are the, we are that, and so with that being said, it's just what, what we what we what we are going to get back to. Um, I feel like that the different platforms also play some stuff into it, and as we move forward and doing what we do, we're going to definitely try to kind of bridge those gaps as well, because when we just had this really kind of sort of one platform, kind of like a little bit of, of the two two, um, we never had a lot of problems that we have when we have two different platforms. Um, we have to, we, we, I am going to, and it's my, not weird, because it's my job, is what y'all basically pay me for, is to find a way to put that together so it's concise and makes sense and it's unified, because that's what we're not. Um, I'm going to get my salad, because they're tripping, <laughs> like no shit. And, um, what I also want to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to now turn on the comments. Um, I'm good. I, I saw the questions. Thank you. I saw you said you're speak. Thank you. I said I am definitely good. Um, I have to learn these things by now, but I'm older and wiser, and I'm getting older and wiser. Uh, we react different. We, we think when we really hurt, we hurt. Right. Actually, accountability matters. What happens next is growth. I believe. I, I agree with that. I'm very good. Um, I love you too. Um, and I thank y'all for being with me through this process. I will turn on the comments if y'all have anything to say, but I'll come up. I also turn on the request as well. 
And don't be coming up with all this sob stories and stuff like that. We're doing that. We're not. I'm, I'm, I'm messed up. I'm going to get better. That's what I want y'all to know. I'm messed up. I will get better. I will be the leader that y'all knew when I, the fearless read a bitch. <laughs> that that's that's the shaker y'all know. That's the shaker y'all gonna get. And if anybody tries to take that shaker away, I'm going to send them away. And that's just all period. Thank y'all for the love. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate you. What's going on, June I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all as well. I love you too, New Place. I love you too, Zan. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry if you used to feel that problem addressing it and not facing it. I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm definitely a work in progress. I'm definitely a work in progress. I can't be perfect, but at the end of the day, I can strive for perfection. See, I always be like, well, just because I'm human, I'm going to say what I feel. That's not how I go. I have to strive for perfection. People depend on me because y'all perfect. Y'all, Sip Nation is perfect. Y'all never let me down that one time. And so at the end of the day, I still have to strive for perfection. As a leader, if I call myself a leader, I call myself the president or CEO or whatever the case may be, I have to strive for, I have to strive for protection. And I love y'all too. Thank y'all so much for coming to this little heart-to-heart -heart meeting. Um, and I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. Um, I will strive for, can we get a more story time shaking? I don't know what to, that's, I told y'all all the stories I have. What you want to get, prison stories? I am not in prison. <laughs> I don't make you say, but it takes a strong person to me. I did. I'm not something about myself for you today. I'm glad. What you learn about yourself? We love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much, Rio. I appreciate you. You're definitely correct, Miss Bad. But Shaker, you gotta also remember you can't let people play with your name, brand, money, or livelihood. So sometimes you have to be a little wolf and let others know where you stand. I think, though, honestly speaking, see, this is, and I agree with that, because I don't, nobody's going to play with us. That's just not gonna happen. Um, but I also know some people don't care. In the case of, in the case of what happened in this last situation here, he didn't care. He was getting followers, so he didn't care. He wants, you know what I'm saying? He didn't care. He didn't got nothing out the deal, but he got a couple of followers. That's what he got. So at the end of the day, because people are going to press the button to see what it is. Even though I don't believe it's many true sippers over there, I, you know, as well as whatever, I think it's just people just nosy people. But at the end of the day, he didn't care. I could have did anything. He didn't care. So in a sense, even though it might have made him feel some type of way about the things that I was exposing about him, he was getting followers, so he didn't care. Southern University stories. I was really boring in high school. I was there in college. <laughs> I did my thing and got out of it. Shaker, you didn't do NDA. I did not do an NDA because, but I didn't trust him enough, so I started making sure I started getting my receipts together. Yeah, he don't have nothing to lose. So at the end of the day, you can't make him look like mud. What's the worst that can happen? He just come out the closet and be like, I'm a, I'm a faggot about him. That try something like with the like no nothing like what you gonna do. Have you considered NDAs? Um, yes and no. Um, for people I date, um, I, I probably will consider it from hands on out. Right. Right. I think I'm going to have to start doing that. I, the problem is, I want, listen, <laughs> I'm kind of, this is the problem. I'm like not a celebrity, but I have celebrity like problems on some stuff. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not a celebrity because I'm not on TV or nothing. I don't even know movies yet. But I have these celebrity like problems through social media. Like, I could notice the problems celebrity have because I talk about them. But, I, but I'm starting to have some of their type problems. And so I have to, you're right, not, so even though I, I, I don't have a, a celebrity status, what I do have is the celebrity fucking problems. So I still have to have to address them like the celebrities do. Because Judy make you sign an NDA before you even shake her hand.
Like, you know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting, I want to feel like it's money. <laughs> okay. I want that celebrity money. Shake it. Yes, yes. I just want to say, I'm laying in my bed. I got to be to work at 5 o'clock. I just want to say I love you. And no matter what, you is the best to me. Like, I remember, I, I don't know what I was doing on YouTube, but I was just scrolling one night. And I seen your prison story, and I was locked in. I binge watched you forever. And ever since then, I fell in love with you because you always just kept it real. So going forward, we don't know that person because we only knew it because of you. Just keep doing you, keep your money, and do you, and keep being real. I love you, baby. I love you too, sweetie. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I don't know how to hang this shit up. Me neither. They changed Instagram, girl. They changed the whole something. You changed it. So, I do have some of the celebrity problems. It's just coming out the woodworks and people are coming to make up stuff on me and all kind of stuff like that. So, I do have to do that from now on. I, I, so, even though I'm not a celebrity, I got to get rid of the beat. Even though I'm not a celebrity, um, and, and maybe I'm trying to convince myself I'm not a celebrity so I don't have the celebrity problems. No. But regardless of the fact, I do have the celebrity problem. So what I have to do is just start acting like it. So you may be right. And I may have to start making people around me sign NDAs and stuff like that. Because obviously, maybe just the type of stuff that happens. I'm muffled. We gray hair shaking the fuck message shaking. Okay, well I'm black hair shaking now. Black hair shaking is business minded, the leadership president the congressman shaking. Oh, I'm congressman shaking. Um I would appreciate your vote this November as we uh, pass the bill for we're against four abortion, we're against four <laughs> against four immigration, we're against four uh Shaky, I can't show my face, baby, but you blocked me thinking I was a troll. Please unblock me, love. I want to see your pages, please. Why are you making a burn face like all the rest of the trolls? <laughs> no, baby, I'm not a troll. If you unblock me, you will see all the support I put on all your comments, honey. I do not hate you. I, when I had press join, I thought I was joining your live to watch it because I'm not used to this. And when I saw that and I was like, shit, I'm in bed. I can't show him how I look. I said, I heard him and um turned it off. And I'm like, okay, he understand. But I said, shit, he might think it's somebody trying to play with him. But no, I don't want to do a burn the page. I want my page back on yours. And hell yeah, everybody listening, I'm begging because this is my baby. I mean, I ain't never meet him, but I mean, he on some real shit. I'm not a and then, and right, sweetheart. And if you look, you can see I support you a thousand percent. I do not give a fuck what nobody say. I go to bat for you, and if I meet you, baby, we'll be going to bat together. Well, I unblocked you. What's the woman saying? What's up? Is it? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, love. You have a good weekend, and you stay safe, okay, honey? I will. I will. All right. Hang up, brother. I don't know how to hang up either, so I might mess that up, too. Gotcha. Yes, I'm, um, I'm black professional educator, Shaky, right now. Um, I told you I'm president. I'm, um, I'm running for Congress. Yes, I'm congressman. <laughs> Some niggas don't deserve a pussy. I know that's right. <laughs> Period. Let's go into this motherfucking house. I think we just stole it or not. Hello. Uh, <laughs> thank you. But I think we need a cold drink tonight. Oh, God, I got a peek in a minute. What time it is? I apologize for how I was acting the past few days, B. 
you asked what I was on. Uh, hey. Girl, I like this black. I'm keeping this black a while. I'm just saying, y'all know now. I'm keeping this black a while. Y'all can get mad all you want. <laughs> I'm keeping this black a while. I'm tired of bitches. <laughs> I'm keeping this black for this. I can't change it really. Yeah, I can't change it right now. Because this is black, I don't have to go for like six days for these bitches. You know what I'm saying? So this is black, this is gonna be this black for like a month. Yeah, we'll How do you all feel? I feel good. I feel better. I feel like, okay. You know, I feel like it should have felt. I should have felt like this. It should have felt like this. That's how I should have felt. I don't feel like that. I didn't feel like that. I feel like that. But now I feel like, you know what? This is your work. What's next? That's how I feel like that. I feel like that. I'm going to show you something. Baby, I need to come get a salad. That salad looks mighty well. It's pretty good too. Um, first you don't owe me no apology. You know, you don't owe me no apology for you know how you acted. You owe yourself an apology. Okay. You owe yourself an apology. You gonna go? You gonna always go to war with the old you versus the you you're trying to become? And most of the time, we become more disappointed in ourselves than anybody could ever be in us. <laughs> When I look back at certain things and the way that I respond to certain things, it don't really be that I care what people say. It be the fact that I never want people to think that where I'm trying to go is not real. The person I'm trying to grow into is not real. And sometimes when you step back into certain actions, it puts a damper on how, how you feel about where you're trying to go. It makes you feel like it's just that easy to get me back into my old ways. It's just that easy to get me back into the things I said I would never do. And I don't like something else or anyone else having that type of control over me. Especially when after I get pissed off, after I do what I do, I don't think I feel better. You know what I'm saying? I think I become more disappointed in myself than I am about the revenge that I tried to get on the person. You know what I'm saying? You sit back. After after you come down and you be really more mad at yourself because truth of the matter is you the only one you can control in the situation. I can no matter how much you can try to get to know a person, love a person, deal with a person, truth be told, you can't control that person. You can only control you. Anytime you're trying to step into a relationship or friendship, you're taking a gamble because you can't control what that other person will do. But I had to learn how to control how I respond to what other people do. Because People will get me out of myself. I don't say out of my character. I say out of myself. And the reason why I don't say out of my character is because I have a character cutting up. Everybody do. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? People like, don't let people get you out of your character. No, that's a part of your character, sis. That's a part of your character you don't want to tap into. It's just like this. You think about the Incredible Hulk. You know what I'm saying? The Incredible Hulk is really a human. But there's a monster inside of him so you stay away from the triggers that makes that monster come out so it's not that it's not who he is it's just a part of him he doesn't like and all of us have a part about us that we want to grow from we don't like and we try to keep under control and so i stay away from people that want that person to come out because you can't care about me 
if you want that person to come out. But let me tell you what's funny about the Incredible Hulk. When he do get pissed off and he go after who piss him off, he destroy a whole lot of other shit trying to do it. Ooh. And that's why I don't like the Incredible Hulk. By the time he calmed down after he smashed who he trying to smash, he didn't smash buildings. So you look up and you didn't wreck a whole lot of other stuff in your life trying to go after who made you mad. And that's why you don't want it to be worth it because you end up saying things you really didn't want to say or hurting other people or hurting other situations that you didn't want to hurt over that one situation. That's why when you hear a lot of women who, who snap easy, it ain't the fact that they really want to snap like that. It's something else that's already in them. It's, it's, it's something that they already, there's an anger, there's, a, there's a, a, a part of them that's been walked over too long. So now they answer with aggression. They come out hard. And sometimes you end up taking it out in the wrong areas. That's why you don't want, you don't want to let it get you there. That's why I believe in dead situations. People will say, hey, Bridget, you know, you confrontational. You damn right. Because I'm not letting nothing linger. Because anything lingers, it grows. That's like, that's like a cancer tumor that you know is there. Okay. You leave it there. And see if you have not, it have a worse situation than you do later. So I say to you is when you get angry, I know you ain't going to like it, but let it hit you. Let the hurt hit you. Let it like, like I know we be dodging it. Like, no, I'm about let it hit you. Take it, take, take the, take the punch and sit on it. So it could run its course because if you move while you hurt, you going to hurt something, even yourself. I had to sit back and say, hey, yeah, it hurt me. Yeah, I had to take that L. Now what I can learn from it, because if I move while I'm hurt, I'm going to hurt something else, because that's what that's where the hurt people hurt people come from. Because you're hurt, so you're moving on that hurt. It's, it's, it's an unfair lick, but it's not. It, it becomes a lesson if you let it. It becomes a lesson. It becomes, okay, we're moving forward. When I start dating again, what do I do different? What can I be better? How can I grow from this? Now I know what I don't want to deal with. Now there's something new that I learned. And that's what I'm going to take with me in my future. The only time you lose something, the only, the only time you waste time is if you don't learn nothing in the time you spent in something. So nothing is a waste of time. It's only a waste of time if you didn't learn nothing. And I think when you sit back, you were like, all right. I got it. You know what I'm saying? And I think you're going to be proud of yourself. I think, and as far as the celebrity conversation, let me say this. A celebrity is made by humans. It's, it's only because a lot of people like you or know you, you be quote unquote a celebrity. But the problem of a celebrity, we all have. They got problems in their marriage. They got problems with their kids. They got problems with people that don't like them. That comes with being a human. The only difference is people sometimes don't like you because other people like you. Yeah. You can be disliked simply because other people do like you. So I think that the issue that you have is you're loved by people, which means you're going to be disliked by other people. They're going to have people who like people just because they like you. I could like you. I could say, hey, I heard a girl say, oh, she always on Shake It Live. Don't, don't add her. That literally happened to me. And I'm like, well, dang. What? And I wrote the person and say, well, what did I do you? She, didn't, she never said anything. But maybe you dislike Shake It. And since I don't dislike Shake It, you dislike me. What? No, that's <laughs> I'm sorry. Nah, but that's life. <laughs> That's life. And I'm like, hey, if you can get the opportunity to get to know me for who I was and you dislike me off of somebody else that's never done me nothing, you're lost because I'm a great person. <laughs> that's how I feel. You know? It really is a lot. It's a lot. No matter what. It just life. comes with the territory. I get out here every day really meaning well to help. And I hear some of the things that said about me and I just be like, I just, I be like, oh, it comes with it. Got to. That's the only thing I could think. I'm going to go. I have a headache. I, uh, 
I lost my grandmother the other day. Sorry. Yeah, so, and you know, that's a whole nother ball game in itself. But you keep your head up shaking. You know, I told you. Is there anything you can do? Ain't nothing else to do. When is all the stuff? Huh? When is all the stuff? Do you know where the stuff at? When all the have stuff? Y'all having like a service or something? Mm -hmm. They having a service. Um, it's Friday, uh, so I've been running around with my kids trying to, you know, we we got they wearing certain colors, so I had to go get some stuff to wear. Next Friday. Okay. All right. Bye, Zip Nation. I'm out of here. All right. Now nah, they say they don't know how to hang up. I don't either, child. <laughs> it, it, this is where I'm changing. You gotta swipe down. I got you. All right, Zip Nation. What we gonna do? We're gonna get our we gonna get our grandma some flowers. And we're gonna send them to the show. I told her to give me a stuff out. Um we're gonna take like a dollar. We're gonna each put a dollar up or whatever y'all wanna do. And we're gonna have a sip nation of flowers from sip nation. And whatever they cost, whatever, you know. We're gonna pass them out the collection plate in the sense. So um yeah, I got a little bit though. So um we're gonna get our grandma some flowers. Um, do not let me forget. Somebody who go who's responsible? Who's responsible? I know PK and 30 minutes. I'm about to go on up. Um, who's responsible? With Miami Monday, we're gonna do everything online so y'all can see we're gonna do it all live. Order the flowers, pay for it, whatever, whatever. If it's what it could be like, well, how much flowers is it like? Forty dollars, fifty dollars? Everybody put in a dollar and we'll get it. So remind me Monday. Yeah, she gave a whole word today. I gotta say this live so I can go back and watch it myself. Remind me Monday to all of the flowers. That's Monday. Yeah, we we're, we're gonna send it Monday. Don't worry about it now. Don't send me nothing now because I'm gonna forget what it's for. And I'm gonna forget how much we have on it or whatever. We're gonna do it at one time. Okay, so say for instance, we do it at one time. Let's say 30 people donate the flowers, $50. I'm gonna put the other 20 in, don't worry about it. But just remind me, Monday, I'm gonna do it Monday. Don't send me nothing now because oh, I'm a girl. I think I put my dollar. Oh well, you can to me first. I don't know. This guy was all right. Oh, this is they were the best. This is that last one. That's my last one. But it was all right. That's what I want to do a podcast with. These peaks. That's what we should do. Y'all been asking for a podcast. That's a good idea. A, po a podcast for mental health and stuff like that. That's a good idea. Nothing. I just finished eating a salad. So um, I'm about to actually go get ready for the PK. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Schedule time that we can pull. That we can all get on. Oh, yeah, it's a PK today. I'm doing Usher, and I, I don't even have nothing. I'm about to go wing this PK so much. Where's my fucking... Hold up. Where's my cool woman key, bitch? That waterfall was everything, huh? That's why... I, I wish I could have did the PK right there. That would have been everything, bitch. Where I'm doing the PK in the corner, bitch. Hey baby, it's PR. What's going on, girl? Hey baby. How you doing? Oh baby, I'm good actually. Ah, you know what? I was really liking that positive uh, conversation you was having earlier. Definitely. Um, you know that was very inspiring, and it's much needed. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I just wanted to shout you out for that. Right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. How you, you know, doing? real talk, real talk. I'm doing good. I'm about to. Uh, I. I went to the soul food. I, I I need to be more like you and eat some healthy food. 
Yeah. Because I so just had some soul food, child. Well, look, I fucked it up and I, I, I had a diet coke. I yeah, fucked it up we and had do. Diet we do. So, we I mean, do. I'm on vacation, so I gotta, I, I tell them to treat myself a little bit. And I love, I love when you do that self love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That uh, self love and self care. That you know, like your spa days and stuff. Yeah. That shit is inspiring. That shit, it's like addictive. I mean, it's like contagious. You know, you just want to level yourself when you see right. people that you love loving on their selves. Right. Definitely. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't going to hold you because I might get loud about it here in a minute. I might get T.S. loud about it and, you know, hit me a salacious <laughs> bumper car, you know, bang out in this amusement park I live in, you know. Period. I gotta get ready for I gotta get ready for a big PK. I'm about to have a PK on Beagle. Um, so we coming to Beagle. You know, you know, uh, PR got like a little movement on Beagle, just a very small and salacious movement. I'm not, you know. Okay. Okay. But I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you. But I'll be scared to get up there, you know, because y'all be like going in on a bitch. Oh yes, Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, but go okay. ahead and do. Oh, oh, oh! Another thing. I always love your color hair. I like when you just feeling yourself, and I feel like you feeling yourself right now. Yes. <laughs> I, I keep that hair. This black giving me light, like for some the reason. black is giving me light. You look younger. You definitely look younger. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I love it. It looks nice and fresh and healthy. Would you dyeing it so much? It looks healthy as hell. I do a lot, 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 a so, yeah, it looks really healthy for you to be. Girl, you know, I, got I, to to my my I got to get ready for this PK. Ah, get ready, boo. We're going to talk later, okay, baby? All right. Have fun. One, two, three. Get up off them bricks, honey. Yes.